there's uh, two state parks by Ellicottville, New York, uh, McCarty Hill and Rock City. sweet news um, thank you to everyone that subscribed so far I finally reached 100 subscribers which allowed me to grab my channel name and my custom URL for YouTube and although Vader is awesome and that is the name of the Jeep it felt more appropriate to name the channel a little something more along the lines of what it is it's an off-roading and overlanding channel so uh, sticking with the Star Wars theme and of course complimenting Vader, I went with uh, Dark Side Off-Road. So welcome to the Dark Side Off-Road channel, which is youtube.com slash darksideoffroad. So uh, thanks a lot for that. I appreciate everyone liking the video, subscribing, and if you're someone that shares these online, God bless you. I'm glad you think it's worth sharing online. And I hope to continue making some awesome videos. Today, I'm just out on a random weekday, uh, on a day that's cloudy and probably will have some spotty showers, but there's uh, two state parks by Ellicottville, New York, uh, McCarty Hill and Rock City, and I'm going to do some gravel road recon, maybe some trail recon, we'll see what's down there, and definitely look for some campsites. And uh, just continuing to plot things in and around the western New York, northwestern PA area. Um, just so I know where I can go pretty easily to hang out on random days if I want to get away from the city. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, hopefully we'll find some cool stuff. Hopefully get a, some cool footage of the state forest and uh, have a good time. So let's get to it. Those of you that are not from Western New York, we don't really have mountains here. We have hills, big hills, I guess. Uh, you know, it's pretty, some glacier car stuff from uh, way back in the day, of course. And uh, Elkaville is as pretty close to a ski town as we have around here. But there's also a lot of forest area stuff and some hiking trails and a few state forests. Awesome restaurants, some cool shops, mountain bike shops, clothing, food, all, the, all sorts of fun stuff. So if you're ever in Western New York and you want to check out what is essentially a little ski town, Elkaville is a super cool place to stop. So um, check that out next time you're around. And if any of you are from Buffalo and Western New York watching this and you haven't been here, you've got to get on this. Like, I don't know why you've never been to Elkaville. So uh, the forests that we're going to are about two or three miles outside of the village. So we'll be there soon. And then uh, I don't think we'll have to air down, but maybe I will just for comfort, uh, just because with gravel roads, you know, there's going to be some pitting, so they'll just make it a little smoother. So I'll probably do that. Plus, I could check uh, check out what it's like to use my power tank. So um, I'll do that, and uh, then we'll get the power tank running at the end of the day, so we can see how that works, and it should be a good time.
right, so I aired down a little bit. I went to like 25, 26 or something like that just to take the edge off of the, the pitting in the road because these are fairly maintained roads. They're just dirt and gravel. So just go explore them, see where they take us, see what kind of campsites are around. Um, if we can find some of those and maybe there's some offshoot trails or something around and um, just check out what the forest has got. It's sunny now, so I don't know if it's gonna rain or not, but it uh, looks pretty nice out right now. So let's hit the uh, road. I found the first little hangout spot. I don't know if it's a trailhead, but someone's had a fire here. And I can't tell. Like, this doesn't really look like a camping spot. This just looks like someone was hanging out at the side of the road. It's not very big. Um, but it is here. It's definitely a hangout spot. And then across the street from it, it looks like there's a trail that leads into a field that some people were going into with their vehicles. That looks kind of fun. But I'm assuming those rocks are there so you can't go in. So we'll just continue on down the trail, see what else we can find. found another trailhead and I looked down the map and this trail is at the top of Holiday Valley so we're actually bumped up against the edge of the ski resort it looks like according to the map this trail goes to Spruce Lake a little walking trail at the top of the ski resort uh, so that's pretty cool I'm sure you can mountain bike on and stuff on that too and, and do some mountain biking I know people start at the resort and mountain bike up here and hit some of the trails and in McCarty, I'm sure you could go the opposite way too. So that's a little cool trail. I know uh, it seems like there's parking area, so it must be a, a decent spot for people with how the shoulder is kind of worn in for cars to park and, and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, more rocks to keep vehicles from going there, but that makes sense, it's a walking trail. So on we go. So the McCarty Hill roads are super well maintained. They have a little bit of like runoff, washout rutting and, and pitting and stuff like that, but they're super maintained. And uh, it's just a nice drive through the forest. So it's pretty cool exploring and, and seeing what type of stuff is around. So, oh, this is a little offshoot it looks like. What's the sign say? Just the East Forest Road. 
nice. stumbled upon what looks like some brand new clear cut. I mean, this gate is like sparkly yellow still. And that's some fresh clear cut. So I have no idea what they're doing up there. I mean, I'm not gonna go over there because they clearly don't want people. Although it does look like the ruts around the outside would be pretty fun to take the Jeep on, but I have no idea what this is for. This could be a state project, uh, I'm assuming, because it's a state forest, but there's no road on the map for that right now, and it looks brand new, so maybe we'll see what happens in a couple months or a year, and maybe this gate gets opened up, or who knows, maybe it's just a service road or something. Strange. That's it, that's the end of McCarty Hill East. Comes this big logged out clearing. This Vader, a little incline, good photo op. Uh, so I'm gonna head back the way that we came and then uh, McCarty Hill Road peeled off about a mile back. So I'm gonna take that, which I think will get us to the edge of the forest. And then that's about where it hits Rock City. So then we'll transition into exploring Rock City. There weren't really any campsites on this road. We'll see if there's anything else in McCarty Hill. Uh, just that one kind of like wreck site, which didn't seem like a very good place to camp. Um, so we'll see if there's anything else in this forest and we'll go to Rock City and see what, uh, what those roads have to offer and campsites and, and whatnot. So we'll head there next, but first we're gonna go do the rest of McCarty Hill Road and see what we can find there. Campsite. It's a legit campsite. It has a fire pit. It's right off the road. Unfortunately, the fire pit's full of garbage. I gotta remember to bring a garbage bag with me when I explore because I've actually seen a lot of garbage in this forest. So if you're coming out here to hang out in a forest where I'm pretty sure you can camp for free, maybe treat it with a little bit of respect because otherwise they're gonna rip this out and they're gonna put stones at the front of this and they're gonna say no more camping because you guys leave trash everywhere and all you do is come here and party. So I don't know, treat the forest a little bit better and I guess next time 
Oh, I'll remember to bring a garbage bag because I literally have nowhere to put this stuff other than loosely in my Jeep. So for right now, I guess I'll leave it. And next time I come back, I'll come back with a garbage bag. But I uh, found an official site. It looks like it has a little trailhead at it too. So that's kind of cool. Um, so maybe there'll be a couple more and uh, I'll get those marked on my GPS so I can come back here and hang out at some point and do a little mini overland and, and camping night. Campsite. That looks like a utility. This one's a little bit more rocky, and it still has some garbage. So, God. pick up your stuff. campsite there's actually a little shade from the trees you have to go under a tree canopy to get to it and then you're in the middle of this and look at there's two fire pits a little bit of a mini trailhead and there's no garbage at this one so that's nice and there's this cool big rock over here too check that out what a cool view with the sun there park the Jeep over in this area Just sleep in the back of it that'd be pretty cool look at this we got a big rock pretty awesome this is a good site this is one I would come back and uh, and camp at this is really cool So that's it for McCarty Hill. Uh, about, I don't know, three quarters of the way down McCarty Hill Road as we're coming down the south side of the hill, uh, it turns into Rock City. So I found three official campsites. Two were kind of small by the road. That last one with the tree canopy was awesome. That's one I definitely want to come back and do a mini overlanding night on uh, and, and spend some time camping. But um, yeah. I got a lot of decent footage. I might make McCarty and Rock City two different uh, videos depending on how much stuff there is to explore in Rock City. But that was McCarty Hill. I was in too high the entire time. It's just really nice forest driving and a couple campsites. And if you're into hiking and biking, there are a mess of trailheads up here that both involve Holiday Valley and the ski resort hills, and then also all of the McCarty Hill hills. Um, on both sides the north side and south side and east side there's just trails everywhere out here so uh really cool state forest and i'm gonna head into rock city and see what we can find in in that forest next <laughs> <laughs> 